found a Speedy 30 that literally looks the same as the upcoming Speedy 25 that's going to be released. It has very similar white stitching and it's only 478 Australian dollars as opposed to uh, like 3,800 or something that the new one's going to be. So crazy guys. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. I really wanted to make a video this morning and upon going on my morning run slash walk, I was trying to brainstorm what video I would make today and I can't deny it guys, I cannot get that pink denim speedy out of my head and I thought why not just make a video about my thoughts on this bag yet again and I found out this morning on Foxy LV's Instagram that this bag is going to cost 1760 USD which converts to 2513 Australian dollars. By the time it hits Australia, I'm sure it's going to be about 2600 to 2700 Australian dollars, which is it doesn't surprise me for this kind of cute little Louis Vuitton bag, but it is quite a substantial amount of money and it made me really think about what other denim bags are on the market or even like what else you could get for $2,700 and whether this is really worth it. So I did a lot of hunting on Vestiaire. My hair's wet. So with Vestiaire Collective, you have to also authenticate once you get it home. You know, I've heard a lot of horror stories on Vestiaire as well. So I am not sponsored by Vestiaire and I'm not saying that's the only way you could find pre-loved bags. You can definitely find pre-loved bags on many platforms and yeah, I'm just giving you the option. This is just what I investigated myself. And I've found some bags that I wanted to share with you guys and let me know what you think and whether you are going to order this pink speedy because I honestly guys I'm I'm going back and forth about it like I don't know whether I should get it or not I know it's extremely overpriced and to be honest denim doesn't really age that well and I don't see it being you know I, I don't know guys let me know what you think the first bag I found was a denim speedy from a prior denim release it was like a kind of denim patchwork -ish, ish collection and i found this louis vuitton denim speedy 30 for 2700 australian dollars which is pretty much the same price as this mini pink one and it is in great condition and it comes with the strap and everything so i thought you know that's probably more worth it i also found an amazing guys patchwork uh, Louis Vuitton Speedy from I think it's around 2008. Now this is a real collector's piece and I have seen them go for from 2,800 to up sometimes over 5,000 and I feel like if you found this in like a similar price as that mini pink one it would actually be probably like a little bit of a collector's item so I think this is a really cool piece. Another piece I found is this little mini pochette <laughs> denim bag. Now, I think it's like really, really tiny. It's more of a bag charm. I know they're also going to release a denim bag charm this season, which I'm sure will also be really expensive. I think it's like 850 US dollars, which is probably the similar price to this. So anyway, guys, I found this if you like it. There's also the Neo Speedy, which it really varies um, all over the internet with the pricing. I've seen them go for 800 Australian dollars. Um, I, I, can, I found this green one, which is really cool, for 1,100 Australian dollars. I'll put the US conversion up, but that is like, you know, less than half the price of that pink one. And it's still in excellent or really good condition. I find these in the Fuchsia Pink as well, which is what I really like. And Dior have also previously done a denim bowling bag and they can sometimes go for really like only a few hundred dollars I've seen them go for. Um, I found one on Vestiaire for 1,900 Australian dollars which is a little steep but I have seen them go for less so this is one you can also probably look out for. I found this really big pink denim Louis Vuitton shoulder bag. Now, I think this measures about 33 centimeters across, so it's not like a cutesy kind of style, but the denim really reminded me of this new pink denim that's going to be released, so I thought that was interesting. Also, get this like bigger satchel bag in this pink gradient denim. I think this was a collection that came out uh, probably around 2008 as well. I might be wrong, but it has a detachable strap that really reminds me of the multi-pochette strap. 
And if you like big oversized slouchy bags, this could be a really cool one to get. And it's only 1,600 Australian dollars. You could totally make an offer on some of these as well and probably get it for even less. And I think the strap on this is really cool because you could use it on other bags. It's like a really, really cute little fur bag in denim. Now it's the same price as the new pink mini speedy, but it has like exotic on it and fur. And it's a really cute little denim bag. I thought it was a really special piece. Obviously made of much higher opulent quality materials. And it is the same price. You can definitely get little fabric Louis Vuitton bags for under $1,000 as well. Like there's this GN cloth crossbody bag. And I found a Speedy 30 that literally looks the same as the upcoming Speedy 25 that's going to be released. It has very similar white stitching. And it's only 478 Australian dollars as opposed to uh, like 3,800 or something that the new one's going to be. So crazy, guys. I also really like this little clutch bag that's $950, just a little cute evening thing. I'm sure you could make an offer and get it for even less. And I'm somebody who, if the price point is like getting up to the $3,000 mark, I think I could possibly probably get a Chanel bag for that. And to me, Chanel bags are a better investment and a little bit more pretty. I'm just more of a Chanel girl. So for me, I find it hard to spend like over $2,500 on a Louis Vuitton bag. And I have found examples of other Chanel bags you could get for a similar price point. Now, my denim um boy bag I got for 3,500 Australian dollars so that's only like you know an extra $800 and you're getting a Chanel bag with this beautiful hardware and just a lot more detail to it than the um little mini speedy pinks bag which is really cute but you know you could just put a little bit more money towards it and find a really amazing pre-loved Chanel item which is to me it's actually worth a lot more and this one came with the box and the card and the receipt so it was a full set and in excellent condition oh and also i've told you guys this already but you know this one was 1100 australian dollars which is you know it's less than half the price of the pink the new pink one as well and to me this is kind of like a really cool piece and the denim is not super faded on it either this is called the Pleaty Bag, by the way. So you can totally find this at, on Bestier as well. I'm sure you might be able to find one for a really good deal. So with Chanel, um, I found this really cute orange Deauville <laughs> bag. It's like a smaller proportioned bowling bag in a fabric orange material for only $2,300. So it is less than that little denim speedy and i to me this is like kind of cuter and more worth it you can also get the east west chocolate bar flat bag in denim and i've seen these go for really good deals but this one i found for 3500 so it's a little bit steep you are paying a little bit more though for a chanel flap which i think is kind of worth it you could definitely get even a classic 2.55 for 4000 800 australian dollars and to me this is a lot more classic than I don't know and it's just more of a piece so if you wanted to put your money towards more of a dream bag this could be an option amazing like gray jersey chanel flat bag for 3700 so yeah it's a lot more it's about a thousand dollars more than the little pink speedy but to me this is a little bit more of a piece and i found this really cool chanel denim flat bag for 3100 Oh, and guys, if you really wanted to just save up and buy like a Chanel mini flap in denim, I found an amazing one on Stylish Top that is like almost in brand new condition and it's from a newer collection and it's just a little bit under retail. So, I mean, I feel like that is actually really cool as well. I mean, it's a lot more expensive. It is yeah, way up there. But if you're someone who would rather buy like a dream bag than like a lot of little bags, then this could be a really cool one to go for as well in terms of denim bags. So yeah, guys, do you think that the new pink denim bag is worth it? And I don't even know if I'm going to buy it yet, but there's a lot of other things you could get pre-loved that I think are just as cool or better um, for less. Or yeah, you could pretty much just save the money and buy something cooler. So 
Anyway guys, just wanted to make this video today because it's just something that's been on my mind and I hope you enjoyed it and if you really enjoy handbag videos and me blabbing on about handbags, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at like 4,000 subs which is really cool so yeah, thanks guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!